Like physical. Or you can type in Excel also. It's no problem. Or you say write in your notebook also. No problem. But get okay. it note in one or the other way so that we can track the subject. Okay, now. Uh, okay. Basic. My goal of speaking yes. is like you are not. We are not answering to somebody who is talking to us to do the things. We are answering to ourselves. I have not. Yes. Done what my teacher has told me. Like uh, they don't teach to. They don't ask you to do also anything. Uh, they will not give any task also. They start showing the software you wish to do do or not. In that way they go because they don't want to put pressure on the students. That is because it is entertainment field. So they didn't ask okay. in my life to do this or do that. But we have done all the things. Whatever I have talked to you, I have done that. And and that okay. first day I've given you a task like collect the chocolate wrappers, Colgate box, open it up. I pest, yeah. and this is the file still there since last twenty year with me. Because that is the task which makes us to understand what is the length of a visiting card. We have not Google it. Okay. We have taken a visiting card, taken the scale, measured it, write it down in a book. Then we have implemented the things. So this makes a different approach, and everybody does this, and all professional are doing this. So that okay. will make a practical approach. Fine. So this task is clear. So I am not taking more time on this. Yes. Switching to the next part. Then where is Photoshop in the global market? In global market means in the geographical area. In all the globe, you will find. Photoshop is used all the globe. In the sense, either it is Asian countries, or it is African countries, or Europe countries. Everywhere you will find Photoshop. Okay. That means you are learning such a software. You can get a job in India, US, UK, Gulf. Anywhere you'll go, Photoshop is there. So now you got to know okay. the international potential of the software. It is not like only a visiting card or browser we are doing. We can work in various industry and in various places of the globe. International software. Is it clear? Yes. So hope we have understood the brief introduction regarding the Photoshop. How much big it is? But this software is mainly meant for photo industry. But people are very clever. They start of using it in various industry. Hope we can all understand. Oh, yes, it can be used. You can see TV industry people making their yes. posters. They can use this, but mainly the software is designed for whom? Photo industry people. Photo. Did you get that? That's why the name is called Photo Shop. People are having problem inside the photo industry. There are a lot of works which cannot be done physically. They are struggling. That's why some coding people come up. Programmers, they created this software. Hope you understood okay. why this is made up. Yes. But later on, it does have a multiple use. The people are very clever. They start of using one object with multiple places, and it works out. Find them. So hope we have understood yes. why we yes. are learning this particular software and why it is been made and where it is used. So we got some idea now. Now we'll see. Photoshop's two part is clear, so make a good note like Photoshop. What I've learned today, in that way you can ask to yourself and make a note. Yes, I got to know what is the things I am going to learn. It is going to help me out or help the industry in this many way, and I can work here in India. Even I going for abroad and all, there also I can able to do work. Fine then. So international market is open for you. Next, we'll see what is the alternative of Photoshop. If not this software, then what is the software? But literally, Photoshop is a ruling software in raster graphics. A lot of software are there, but they are not so dominant as Photoshop. So, Photoshop is one of the ruling software inside the raster graphics. Raster graphics. Right? Less alternative. Yes. yes. Software is there, but less alternative. But that is not called the supplement of Photoshop. Photoshop is having its own domain, own market completely. But in vector, some people are working with CorelDRAW, some people are working with Illustrator. They both are working, but Photoshop is a ruling software. So hope you got to know 
it is a unique software which yeah. have less competitor coral paint is there it is also raster but that is less used fine then illustrator is made by adobe right adobe even photoshop is of adobe adobe right so now i got to know which company product it is adobe adobe then what is the benefit of learning adobe product because we can connect adobe's various product immediately like photoshop can be connected with illustrator it can be connected with uh, premiere you know premiere is a video editing software right yeah. and after effects it is a special effects software and in design it is a layouting software so learning photoshop can able to connect to this 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 and this directly so your designing industry video editing industry special effects industry layout industry all the industry are directly connected with photoshop they can take the design from photoshop and get them place fine so is hope... coral paint or adobe no coral is for coral company it is a product of usa it is a product of america okay. us okay. but coral is a product of canada okay they are neighbor country but yes yes it's a of now we have understood why photoshop why adobe what is the benefit of learning a adobe product so now it is a brief account finish on the introduction of the photoshop is it clear now introduction yes. now we'll go to the user interface any software we are learning it does have a user interface what is user interface it is layout yes layout through which user is will get connected to the software right okay. user start yes. up interacting with the software through the interface later on the software will do the works but this is the place where you can talk each other so you see like excel this is the user interface like we have menu bar and all things yes and it photoshop does have a user interface through which we will be talk to the software and now what is the things to learn here sir the software open the user interface get open then why to learn this am i right now at every place uh, it will be a justified question like why to do that because it is not to argument it is to understand the reason to spend the time so that you can use it in a perfect manner or in a profitable manner so what is oh. the why why to learn this sir if i am not learning can't able to work with the software if i can able to work then why i need to learn sir am i right no this yes. kind of questions will make us to learn it's to know you are asking fine then so let us go for the first question answer why to learn this i don't know like what is insert and all things but i know how to open this what is this excel and i can type and i can say my job is done why to learn what is this manu what what are layout so what happen we can work limited but if you know the user interface detail then you can able to enlarge our productivity first answer second we can customize that are you getting my uh, the technical word yes customize means wherever whichever the things you want you can all place it up that is called customization then why to customize sir whatever it has been given it's very nice i can work on that yes you can work but there are certain things which is not required that is also there inside the screen that you want to avoid so you need to customize that that's why you need to learn user interface now got to know the reason why you are learning this let us go for practical how to customize the user before to that we need to open the software right what is the topic now yes. how to open the software to open the software there are two three different manners we can open the software now by any software you are learning just windows and search that is first method you know but yes. if you are working with windows platform then windows key is there you do have a windows key right yes yes windows key if you are using the r button then a run command will open a dialog box will open where you can type something is it clear what is the command yes r windows plus r r so this is the hotkey 
through which you can get a dialog box where you can type something. Now. Yes, something run game. Up. Ah, right. So here, what you can do, you can write the name called Photoshop. It will just write type Photoshop. It will immediately okay. open the software. Okay. So it will save your time because you once you are going to any film studio or any print studio, there you don't know where is the software is. They load it wherever they like. At that point, you can save your time and write down Windows R, Photoshop. It is a run command. It will open wherever it is there. Okay. It will save your time. Okay. So now go to know what is the I run have, uh, I have another doubt. Yes. How to like uh, remove background? Uh, like some If something is running in the background, how to remove it? Background means which background? Like, your computer background? Your photograph, no, background, like, which background? Something is running in the background, like Photoshop or anything like that. How to remove it? Something is running in the background of a photograph you are speaking? I mean, no, no, no. Uh, how to say, uh, like if I'm using Photoshop, then I just canceled it, but it is still running in the background. Okay, okay. You mean to say that how to close the software completely? This is what. Yes. Asking. You have minimized it and you don't want to run it up. Then you can give a right click on that particular icon in the status bar of your computer. Can you see on your screen and this screen? Here you can find oh, a really? number of no on the yes. zoom. Here I can see my applications. You can see like which are the applications in running that will yes. show in a light park. And you can give a right click and switch to the option called close window. Oh then yeah. Close the running software so this is one of okay. the way or else there is an option in the right click of your status bar you can find a option called task manager it will open all the applications which is running and you can find the photoshop is there on your screen and you can give a right click and switch to the option called end processor okay. so this is another way to get it close so hope we have understood now okay. How to close yes. a running program. Very nice. Now, what is the talk going on with week? How to open the software. Is it clear? Photoshop. Photoshop, how to open Yes. This is the professional way of doing. And manual way, you know, go for click, yes. type down Photoshop and open. Once the software will open, this will look like this. So user, user interface is a Photoshop is this. Very nice. There are some boxes are there in the right side, some boxes are there in the left side, some are on the top. Yes. Now, what are these? And what is their name? What they does? This would be a question, right? Then we'll yes. go inside. So well, let us take this snipper. You know about snipper? Are you aware of so? Yes. Quick? Yes. yes. What it does? It takes a it's like screenshot print. in mobile, but ah, great. Now we have taken a print screen of it and we are just making it to go for a little big to make you understand the things in a detailed manner. Okay. So I'm zooming it up. <clears throat> okay. So the topmost bar is technically called as menu bar. What is this called? Menu, menu bar. Right. Below to the menu bar, there is again a bar that is technically called as option bar option bar okay right. now we are introducing to the softwares what is what first what they will do we'll see later now coming to the left side this is call your toolbar what is this called okay toolbar, toolbar. Right. and if you switch to the left side you can see some windows they are called floating windows what they are called Floating windows. Floating windows. Now the question why they are called floating windows? Because you can move it up from one place to the other place. How to move? We'll see later. Okay. But for the time you got to know why it is called floating window. Is it okay? But we cannot move the menu option or toolbar. Oh, we can move it up. But it is particularly called because uh, this is having a special name toolbar. Everything can be floatable. Okay. That is also floatable. This is also floatable. But it does have a special name called toolbar, but it is having its independent name. But generally, I've mentioned this side, all the things and everything is floating under, even it is also float. 
So now go to know what is called floating window means. Why it is called floating windows? Just it is extra window, but it can be floating. And yes, it is also can be floating. Fine. So now the introduction is of the icons over. Now coming to this, this is your work area. Okay. Now this arrangement of the toolbar, option bar, floating window is technically called as work space what is this called workspace workspace what is workspace the arrangement of the mm -hmm. toolbar option bar and the floating window in the user interface technically called as workspace, workspace. is it clear yes now the workspace style vary from work to work or industry to industry because the software is used in all the industry so it is used in painting industry, photo industry, 3D industry, architect industry, all the industry people are working. So their yes. relevant and required workspace are different. So painting people need more colors. So but 3D people doesn't need more colors. They need something else. So their workspace can be customized or will be finding out differently. So now we'll be learning how to load workspace and all. But before to that, let us see it more closer to this particular toolbar. Can you able to see the toolbar a little close? Yes. Fine. Yes. If you can able to see the toolbar, the toolbar is again divided into separate part. Here there is a segregation mark. Can you able to see this mark? Yes. Separated. So the upper part of the tools and the below part tools. Again, some part is different, which is some segregation mark. And each category of the tools does some similar kind of jobs. That's why they have put in, in a single category. Is it okay, Ruthvik? Yes. Now the first category of the tools are helped to do this selection. Okay. What that does, it helps to do selection. Category number one. Now let us go to the second category. From where to where? It's having long tools. From here to this yeah. much of thing are all creating tools. You are create something. Okay. Create and here modify. Two things you can all do. Create and modify. Is it okay? Yes. It does two jobs. Now, the third is vector tools inside the raster software. What is the tools? Vector we, tools. We can do vector raster graphics. Ah, it is a raster graphics software, but there are certain tools they have provided which can does the job of vectors but it is not a vector graphics software okay oh. so they provided some of the oh. tools now after 10 minutes the software will get close you can log in once more for 10 15 minutes is it okay the same login okay fine now the next the last category tools are helpers they are helpers that doesn't do more but they helps a lot so now we have understood okay. now what how many category of tools are there? How they are categorized? Which category tools helps in which manner? Is it clear now? Yes. Yes. Now, if you can able to sketch the screen, I'm here on this. Okay, here also you can find there is a double arrow mark on the left top corner. Can you able to see this toolbar? Yes. This particular yes. button helps us to do the toolbar into divide into two parts. Two columns. Can you see now? Yes. Double column. The toolbar can be shown in a single column or double column also. This button has to be get on. So hope we have understood what is this triangle button yes. is doing on the toolbar at the left top corner. Now yes. let us take again a closer look up. Can you able to see the toolbar? There are yes. certain tools or like almost all the tools does away triangle button in the right down corner of every tool. Am I right now? 
yes. this write down triangle button speaks something to the user what it is speaking i am not alone inside me a lot of tools are there this is what this software is speaking oh. so hope we got to know how does the software is talking in signal language so a technician should be clever enough to understand this sign language of any software in the world i'm not speaking we are not speaking about photoshop only any software you are learning a lot of professional things are talked through this icons and the faster you understand this we can use this software in a beautiful manner now we have understood what is this symbol is signifying so there are certain tools which doesn't have it doesn't have hidden tools but almost like all the tools does have some hidden tools inside mm -hmm. it it doesn't have so what you have understood in now photoshop is not having this much of tools a lot of tools are there which is not visible now okay. we'll be learning how to open hidden tools so what is the topic now how to open how to open hidden tools, hidden tools inside the toolbar but before to that we need to learn what is this tool what is its name what is the keyboard shortcut now we'll be learning the software in a different manner what we have already discussed in the last class what are the things to be net note up we need to note seven thing of a particular tool what are those name of the tool what is the keyboard shortcut of the tool how does the cursor looks like how does the cursor is changing which cursor meaning what how to work with the tool okay. method of working with the tool now what is the tips and tricks on the tool what is the example we have learned inside the tool so once we are making the note in this manner then every tool will come under our grips am i right no because in very yes. less time teacher will tell all the tools and he will close the software and the software will finish but how to remember them unless we plan the things cannot be record proper so it is one of the plan through which you can able to place the information for every tool if you are making seven point to note at least at the end of the session of the software your 50 page book will be get filled this will be happening even if nothing is happening 50 pages book will be filled up am i right no at least 50 tools are there even you are writing for one tool for one page also it will take 50 pages note also fine just i've made you to know you can make much more better notes compared to this this is just a skeleton given through which we will be providing the information but it is not compulsory that you need to do this you can create your own start and you can do much more better because you are involved so what i mean to say that make the note in your innovative manner so that database will not get omit from your brain understanding is no rocket science rafik very easy no big qualification required even fifth standard of education is enough to learn the software it doesn't it is not a rocket science opening youtube and learn it within 15 days you can learn this but how to implement how to remember at this spot how to take the decision to which tool to be get used that all does matter fine so i have just opened this and spoke you to to make you get your the information whatever we will be providing should capture in your book in this manner fine then let's move now how to open the hidden tools step number 1 once your software is get open so i will share it off even we'll use techno now technology becomes very fast and it helps a lot and oh. now it is there on your desktop or like in your mobile also but okay. we need to go beyond we don't get this much of facilities recorded <coughs> class print screen description at home these facilities are not there 15 20 years back while i started the pencil career but now you can do much more better than me are you getting what i'm talking so yes. you can do much more better than us because we have not provided with this internet and all things just software teacher is to tell inside the classroom over one hour and then let's move so let us take the benefit that is what i'm speaking of my my goal of speaking is like what is the benefit then 
if we are getting this much of things you should do wonder you should do magic fine then so let's move to the next part okay i've closed this after then how to open portal sir windows sir uh windows sir or else just if you're hitting only window before windows then it pop up uh the for software names and all to be right there also can do it if the operating system is uh, bigger than your windows 10 or something is old operating system doesn't have these features we need to search okay. at the time fine then so let's find out how to find the name of the we know what is our goal to find out the name of the tools mm -hmm. and the keyboard shortcut how to find the name of the tools and the keyboard shortcut what is the event to be done now this is a task you need to do move your cursor over to the tool wait for a while now the software will tell what is his name and there is a keyboard shortcut will pop up example m in the first tool name what is telling my name is rectangle market tool and my keyboard shortcut is m he has told this so now immediately what you need to do open the notebook and write down the first tool name is rectangle market tool and the keyboard shortcut is m now the question comes why to do if the faculty is told because of that or there is some profit in it am i right no so yes. i like that a lot of advice has been given in our schools to do this do that we have done that i don't know what is the benefit we got i'm not telling don't over to teach it my goal of speaking what is the benefit of it start finding to know that then we can use it permanently am i right no all are good yes. things only but why to do that we should ask now what is the answer if you are asking like why to do this sir why to make a note what is the benefit just it is not to argue to make you feel like you are knowing the things because you need not somebody is telling you need to do no don't do this now the answer is like the next time if you need this particular tool no hit the m button that tool will come up it save your time okay. and is money is it clear only m button no control plus m or anything no nothing 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 software is speaking very simple language what is it telling my name okay. is rectangle market tool and my keyboard okay. shortcut is m he is telling m that means you need to hit m is it yes. okay so what is the task yes. to be done now make your notebook ready after the class start moving your cursor to the tool wait for a while write down the name draw the icon and beside to that write down the keyboard shortcut if lifetime okay. once you are doing this then throughout your life you will not move your cursor because now you are very fresh brain how you have it yourself in that way it will go up once the yes. thing get matured like moving like this clicking clicking then keyboard shortcut becomes a problem 